Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to decorate a Wookiee cake. If you enjoy this video, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe so that you can get notified when I add new cake decorating tutorials. So this one was filmed in real time as a Facebook Live, so this is a bit of a sped up version for you guys on my YouTube channel. So I've just got a fairly small cake, I think this one's 8 inches that I'm using, and I've just cut it in half and we're just buttercream in between the two layers. Now these are chocolate crisp pearls that I'm just putting in, just so there was something chocolatey in there, because I fancied some chocolate. They're kind of like sort of cereal with chocolate on is probably the best way to describe it. But I've got really thin cake card and I've cut the shape of the head. So basically I've got a circular cake card and I just cut a bit off each side and I've done the same with the cake. So it's basically just leaving the cake the width that you want the Wookiee's face or Chewbacca. I didn't think it looked a lot like Chewbacca this one, so let's just say it's a Wookiee. I think that's what they're called. Is that what they're called? You guys can let me know in the comments below if I'm calling it the right thing. Again, it's very cartoony. I've just put in a little indentation where I want the eyes to go. And then you can use your offcuts for adding a bit extra for the nose. To be honest, I want the nose to be really small. So I'm going to trim quite a lot of cake offcuts down to create just a tiny piece here. And then I'm going to buttercream the whole thing. Now, I'm not very good with buttercream. Those of you that watch regularly will know that. I'm not neat at all with buttercream. I apologise. One day, maybe I will get a bit better with it, but I doubt it. But it's going to be underneath. This one's going to be covered in fondant, um, also known as sugar paste as well for you guys here in the UK. So I've covered it in a fairly thick layer at first. And then what I'm doing is using a flexible smoother and just kind of scraping any extra off, trying to smooth down the surface. Now you can put it in the fridge if you want while you're rolling out some fondant. This particular one that I'm using is a chocolate flavoured fondant. It's actually really nice, this one. It's quite stretchy. I'm going to put links below the video, guys, to everything that I use as well, so that if you do want to use the same things, you know exactly what I've used. Um, the links do go to my website because I do sell a lot of the things that I use, but of course you don't have to purchase them, but that way you know what I've used. So I've pressed all the way around my cake and kind of all the indentations and stuff. Just make sure you've got no air bubbles under there, and then you can cut off any extra paste from around the edge. Now, I forgot to mention at the beginning that thin cake card that I had is now underneath the cake so that when I pick it up, the cake's not just going to kind of fall down. I've got like a teddy bear brown colour. I think it's called teddy bear brown, this one. Again, I'll put links below. I've just put a fairly large piece on. I've just placed it on at the moment. I haven't used anything to stick it down with. And then I'm putting some rough marks with my Dresden tool just to where I think I want to cut out the shape. So I want it to look a bit furry. And then once you're happy with that, you can trim it with a sharp knife. I'm using a little craft knife. You can use a bigger knife if you find that easiest. The little corner bits are tricky to get out, or they are for me anyway. So once you're happy with that, just put in some eye sockets. Now I'm pressing pretty firm, but not so hard that I kind of go through the fondant and to the naked sponge. And then let's put in a little line for the mouth. Let's have it a little bit lopsided so it looks a bit unhappy. It's kind of an expression that I've done on a cat cake, although it's not live on um, YouTube yet, my cat one. That's coming soon, though, that one. It's so quite a large nose. I'm just using some black fondant. So remember, guys, that when I say fondant, I often mean sugar paste. I apologise because I realise it's called different things in different countries. In the UK, it's actually ready to roll icing or sugar paste. Excuse my head in shot. So I'm using some white fondant now for the eyes. I'm just going to fill in those eye sockets with a ball in each. And then I've rolled some more of the brown that we used to cover the cake, nice and thin. And then I've used a small plunger cutter to cut out some circles. And then we're doing the same again in black, but even smaller circles. And these are just going to go in the middle of the brown discs. I'm just squashing them just to make them a little bit bigger than what they come out of the cutter. And I'm going to go for a star shape to put the little white highlights in the eyes. So it's pretty basic this one, we're not doing anything too fancy. I've got some little sausage shapes flattened a little bit for the eyebrows and then I'm using these little scissors to trim in. So these are nail scissors but I haven't used them for nails. These are what I bought especially for my cake decorating. Obviously the furrier you want those eyebrows to look the more, the more you can cut into them. And I've kept one eyebrow raised, one lower down, so that you know his facial expression just looks a little bit grumpier. Or maybe he looks a bit puzzled, I'm not sure. So we're keeping it fairly simple, not too much detail. Although I am adding some hairlines, just using the back of my Dresden tool. Let's draw some kind of either side of the mouth so it looks like his little moustache. Because I think this is where the hair kind of goes on the Wookiees, I think. I did have a picture next to me on my mobile phone so that I could look. I know it doesn't look anything like a realistic one. It was easier for me to keep it cartoony. So just keep going with those lines until you're happy. I'm not sure if he needs much else or not. What do you guys think? 
I'm going to add a bit of shading. So I've got a really dark brown edible powder. And I'm just going under the nose, sort of in the gap of the mouth, just to darken it. I'm not sure if he actually needed that, but it's on there anyway. And a little bit around the eyes. I'm just using a little bit of buttercream on my board. Now, I do have a cake board that's iced. I, I can't remember the size of my board. I do apologise, but it's a fairly big board. I could have gone smaller. And I've put him kind of to one side. So if I want to put him like a hat or something on there, I can do. I kind of wish I'd left him without the hat. You'll see that at the end as we go a bit further on. So these are just sugar pearls that I'm putting in. Now, I actually thought there were chocolate in the middle because some of the coloured pearls that I have have got chocolate in the middle with like a candy coating. And I bit one of the gold ones in the Facebook Live, almost breaking my teeth. They didn't have chocolate in the middle at all. They were solid sugar and they were pretty hard. So I'm going to not eat the pearls on this one. I've got a cookie cutter in a party hat shape, party hat shape even, and I've made a ginger biscuit with it, hopefully, because it looks a bit burnt on the video. It actually isn't burnt, I promise. Um, and I'm going to roll out some thin pink fondant with some stripes of blue, simply because these are the colours I had next to me at the time. I think maybe I'd go for a different colour if I was doing it again. And we're just going to stick this onto our gingerbread biscuit or cookie. I'm just using some royal icing. I've been lazy and just using a shop bought one, but I should have really made my own. And then I think what I'm going to try and do is stick these pearls here. So can you see the rainbow pearls that I've got up here? I'm going to stick these to the top of the hat for like the top of the party hat bit. These ones are not solid sugar, so these ones have actually got chocolate in. So I think I prefer these ones a lot more. They're nice to eat and they look pretty too. And I'm going to stick this onto the top of his head here. He looks really unhappy about wearing this party hat, but it's fine. It's on there now. And I'm just going to finish it off with a bit of splattering of the gold paint. These ones that I'm using in my sweet stick palettes, again, I'll put links below, guys. Um, the water activated, so you could just mix them with water. And you can kind of flick it on or dab it on. When I flicked it on, I kind of got it on everything on my workspace. So just be careful if you are flicking it on with a paintbrush. Okay, and I think he's done. Kind of looks a bit like Richard, my other half. A little bit. It looks happier than Richard, actually. <laughs> but there it is, all finished, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do get a chance to have a go at making this, I'd love to see what you make. You can tag me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever else there is. I forget everything that there is social media-wise. Just, just tag me at Zoe's Fancy Cakes. Or you can send me a picture on my Facebook page. It's absolutely fine. I do love to see what you guys have made. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.